Why well, can't wait for the sun when them sundresses gonna come on out? Living all the way in the west by the Georgia peach made me feel down south. See you in the streets, believe I'ma go ahead and reach on out. Cause I done peeped you on the gram, goddamn, you just made another fan, yeah. Used to curving plenty niggas, this time I was on you, baby, I ain't nervous. y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you this wig from i wear wig and it's a new company so i will tag their information down below in the description box but this is their water wave wig and i believe 16 inches but if i'm wrong and it's longer i'll correct it in the description box too so now i'm just going to take that wig and flip it inside out and you want to make sure that you take off those straps because it can be a little bit hard to put on the mannequin head if those straps are in but you want to smooth that hair down just to make sure that no hairs are kind of like bunched up under the lace since we will be bleaching it. And then you're going to see me pull out some T wig pins. Um, and that's what I'm just going to use to hold the lace to the mannequin head while we do the bleaching process. But you'll see I'll zoom in just so you can see that there are no stray hairs kind of like sticking on that lace. So it'll help them to not be bleached when we put that bleach on the lace. So make sure that you have some gloves because this bleach really will burn if it sticks on your skin as I know from experience. But I'm going to be using this spork and this plastic knife and that mixing bowl. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Quick Blue. That's the bleach that I got from Sally's with this 40 developer, which I got from a local beauty supply store. So I'm going to use this hair tie just to tie the hair back so it doesn't get in the bleach. And I'm going to use two scoops of that bleach and then just eyeball the developer. And I will show you the consistency that I was going for. It makes it easier just to kind of smooth it on almost like frosting on a cake versus it being very runny and really really seeping through so also just make sure to leave it on for 12 to 15 minutes which I'll show in the video but yeah you just want to make sure to smooth it all over the lace try not to leave it on longer than 12 to 15 minutes I left it on a little bit longer which is why I bleached a little bit through and got some of the roots but you'll see later on that it does not look bad and it blends in with the wig cap very nicely. So don't worry if you bleach through it a little bit. Don't worry at all. Like you'll still be popping, sis. After the 15 minutes, you want to go in with a neutralizing shampoo, which I got from a beauty supply store. So this will help to stop the bleaching process. And then I'm going in with this shimmer light shampoo, which will help to take the brassiness out of the lace. So this is what it looks like after. As you can see, I did show you that I'm showing you that I bleached some of the roots by accident. But like I said, it will blend in with your wig cap. So don't worry about it. But I'm just going to put this back on the mannequin head. Um, I have that plastic bag on it because I don't like my mannequin head looking dirty, y'all. I'm sorry. I can't do that. So I put the plastic bag on it and then I'm going to use the T-pins to secure it before using a heat protectant, which I got from Walmart and spraying that on the hair and then going in with the blow dryer. Make sure to treat your wig hair like human hair, y'all. Take care of it. It will help it to last longer. That's why I use this heat protectant on it, even though I'm just blow drying. But yeah, I'm going in with that before I start the styling process.
I'm using this old stipple brush from elf with this Maybelline fit me makeup I believe it's in the shade 360 which is mocha and I'm gonna use that to tint my lace and then just to make it last longer so I don't have to keep applying this product I'm going to use a blow dryer and kind of dry the foundation on it I don't know if anybody else has done that before but it seems to work for me so that's what I'm gonna keep doing so let me know if you've tried that before but yeah I'm just doing that to make it stay So as y'all can see with the part that they made, you can really see that the roots got bleached, but that's too deep of a part for me anyway. So I'm going to go off camera and kind of move that part around just so it fits my face better. So after doing that, you can see that you can't really see that it is that bleached. So I'm just going to use some mousse to kind of set it in. But you'll see me later go in with a little heat protectant from Cream of Nature. It's going to look more like an oil. And I'm going to put that right in the part before using a hot comb to just really solidify that parting. I styled this wig just by putting in the cream of nature mousse all over and then just added some baby hairs. And that's really it for this style. So thank you guys for watching. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. So I went ahead and put this wig on. I did not like tack it down. So this is it just put on my head with some baby hairs using mousse. And I put some mousse through it just to kind of restore some of the curls. And this is how it came out. So yes, I put powder in here and put a little powder right here, but I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not so sure how well I blended it. But this wig is super beginner friendly. As you know, all this stuff, I'm pretty sure you can find at your local like Sally's Beauty Supply or Walmart like for the low low. So this is what it looks like. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, do what it do. Y'all already know what we doing on this platform. We saving that coin. So go ahead and join the way before you get left. But yes, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.